um, as you're looking at your motors, uh, inspect them to make sure that the solder joints are good, that there are no broken wires, that the wires are strain relieved uh, underneath this wire tie. Now this one seems to be a little loose. This is loose. You can, you can see the wires are just loose underneath that, that wire tie there. So we're going to cut that off and replace it <clears throat> so that we have a little bit better strain relief. And this is, of course, uh, as you're working with the wires, pulling on them uh, and putting them in the slots and so on that you don't, uh, you know, uh, cause a problem with their solder joint. So that's a little better. So you can see the strain relief is better now. Okay. So make sure each motor uh, has good solder joint, good strain relief. Okay. And so this one's going to go inside. This, this strain relief looks good. Looks good. And this one is loose. So let's replace that one as well. There we go. That's better. Okay, wires on the inside, wires on the inside. The brackets have two holes on one end and no holes on the other. So we want these two holes facing down on the inside. So this one's going to go there. This one's going to go there this one there and this one there okay so now we want to feed the screw in this end sometimes it's a little snug uh, snap it all the way through we'll put the bolt on here and what I have here is a 7 30 seconds uh, nut driver, which seems to be just right for these. So we're going to snug that down. We're not going to tighten it down super hard because we don't want to break the plastic case. So just, uh, just hard enough to be a good mechanical connection that won't vibrate loose. And we'll do this one. Nice and tight. Okay, so now this motor is ready to be mounted to the chassis. So do that for the rest of the motors, and then we'll mount them to the chassis.